Hey folks, this is Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group. And today we are at another finished custom home by Pinnacle Building Solutions. This is our sailfish model. It's a three bedroom, a three bathroom with a three car garage and den. It's our 2200 square foot sailfish model. Um, this home is located in the Northwest Cape Coral on a triple lot and it's a dry lot. So we have a nice, a lot of nice features I wanna show you. So let's start as far as with the outside. And this is something that you're gonna see a lot more, especially in Southwest Florida um, after Hurricane Ian. What we have is a 5V metal roof okay that is black all right um this is a very nice feature that the homeowner added um in lieu of a shingle roof or even doing a tile roof um but it came out absolutely gorgeous all right so now we're going to check out the landscaping uh, the homeowner went with a uh upgraded landscape package and they added uh, rock uh, instead of mulch and some additional plants. So they went all the way around as far as the front of the entry walkway. Wrapped around all the way to the master and then did a nice little two foot area on the right hand side. They also added this beautiful water fountain. So this is a nice little feature that they added to here to their island that's in front of the den over in the entry. All right, so let's check out the inside. Let's start off, we have this beautiful full light front entry doors that go into the inside. For the flooring for the main living area, we have a very nice 12 by 24 tile um, that is one third staggered, our standard floor electrical outlet. And then for the entertainment niche, something that's a little bit different that you might um, find that from the previous videos that we haven't done. And a lot of times you'll see either a arch, okay, um, or a straight line across. The homeowner decided that they wanted to open up this whole wall and paint in an accent, and that's a nice little feature. Something different um, that uh, we do every once in a while, but this is a nice little uh, feature that the homeowner added was the box tray in the great room. So we have basically four trays on the upper tray with crown inside and the inner and then the crown inside of it. All right, let's check out the dinette area. This is also something that's a little bit different. Typically you see for the dinette, we have a um, ceiling that's gonna go slope down as far as right to here. And what we did here is we boxed down this area and put a tray inside. So this is a nice little feature that you can do. Gives a little bit different look, in, different look than the model. All right, let's check out the kitchen. All right, first part I wanna point out is this beautiful quartz countertop. We also have a push button for the garbage disposal. For the kitchen, um, a little bit different design that you might have not seen in some of our other videos. What we have is our refrigerator. We have a cooktop here with a microwave above, okay? We have two spice racks on either side. A 
a pantry closet. All right. And then we have a nice double oven. Underneath we have under cabinet lighting. Above me, we have over cabinet lighting. And then if we come right around to here, I'm gonna show you this. What we have is under cabinet lighting underneath the cabinets. So this is a nice little feature. And they did this for the kitchen, for the island, and they also did this for the master. For the sliding glass doors going out into the lanai, we have the 90 degree corner. And then we're gonna go into the master. As we go into the master, again, another feature that I like to point out is you can't see into the master when you first walk in. We have this beautiful upgraded plush carpet just got installed a couple of days ago. We have our two sliding, or not sliding, we have our two single hung windows on either side and our standard sliding glass door that goes out into the entry. We also have crown inside the master. And then we have our tray with crown and a beautiful accent color above. All right, we're gonna check out the master bathroom. We have our pocket sliding glass door that separates the master bedroom from the master bathroom. We have the his and her closets with a nice wood shelving in lieu of the wire shelving. Another nice feature that the homeowner went with was we did the dual vanities. So we have a single vanity over here on the right-hand side with a nice custom mirror. Over here, typically where you would see a tub, we have another vanity. So we have dual vanities this is a nice little feature that you can add, um, especially if you are not looking at doing a tub. One of the things that you do lose is typically you would see a window here, um, but I think if you wanna have that additional vanity space, this is a nice little feature that you can add. For the shower, we have our nice stone finish as far as for the floor a nice 12 inch Listello going up the center between the two windows. Again, we also have a rain shower for the master toilet. For the master toilet, we have the glass obscured that gives you some light, but also gives you some privacy. And a linen closet with wood shelving. All right, let's check out the other half of the home. We're gonna check out the guest bathroom. All right, we're gonna go right here to the den. So for the den, we have this beautiful plank tile. Gives a nice little contrast from the main living room. We also added the crown. And then above, we have our tray with crown and a accent color inside of the tray. All right, for the pool bath, we have our single vanity. 
a nice little custom here. Uh, instead of a bathtub, we have a nice shower with a frameless shower door. We also have a Listello with the niche. Um, they added the Listello inside the niche and went all the way up. So this is a very nice feature. And then we have the stone for the shower floor. All right, for the guest bathroom, guest bedroom, this is the guest bedroom that faces towards the rear of the home. Um, again, the homeowner went with a very nice plush carpet. This is an upgraded carpet. Feels very, very nice on your feet. So if you're a carpet lover um, and this is something that you want to do, um, you know, give me a call and I'll give you a recommendation for some of the best carpet that you can get. We have our walk-in closet. Over here, again, with the wood shelving. Our pantry behind the kitchen with wood shelving. And then let's go into the back guest bedroom. They went with tile in here in lieu of the carpet. And this uh, setup has the third bathroom with a tub. So this is something that you can add. Typically, right over here, you would see the closet. And what we do is a two-foot bump out over here. So over here, we have the closet. And then over here, we have a single vanity with toilet and bathtub. We do have a laundry room in here, but we have some additional supplies in here. So we're gonna kind of excuse me, but we have the upper cabinets with the washer dryer and a sink cabinet. All right, so if you're not looking at doing a pool and you maybe wanna add some additional outdoor living space, let me show you the lanai and what we did out here. So we have the 90 degree corner. This pockets all the way over here. All right, so we have a picture frame pool, or not pool cake, but we have a picture frame screen over here. And then we have two doors on either side. This is all set up for an outdoor kitchen. And then we have a window above to get some additional light in. And then let's check out the outside. This is on a triple lot, so we have a little bit more room to do some stuff on the right and left-hand side. So this is set up as a paver area, additional paver area, um, and a future spa is gonna be going in this location. All right. And then on either one of these ends, it's gonna be set up for some fire pits on either side. We also have the rock that goes all the way around. And then over here, we're gonna have a little step down area. And then it's set up for a nice little barbecue area. And then as I pointed out earlier in the video, we have the rock that goes up against the 
um, master bedroom side of the house. All right, over here we have a walkway that goes to the pool bath area. A fire pit over here. There's gonna be some chairs around here. So if you don't have a pool, this is definitely thinking outside of the box. Um, you can definitely get creative as far as what you wanna do and how you wanna use your outdoor area. And then we have this walkway that goes all the way to the side of the house. where we have our RO equipment, and then we have it set up with our AC unit, and then this goes all the way down to the front driveway. Thank you for watching. For more information about building here in Southwest Florida, please check out our website, pinnaclepropertygrp.com, or you can contact me at 239-225-3172. Until next time, I'm Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group.